Hello to all my friends out there. Okay, so I hope I don't swallow this piece of toilet paper that's on my tongue. But I thought, well, I think I can do the video before I bleed to death. And if it doesn't stop, I'll go to the emergency room. It's right by the house, thank God. Okay, what I'm doing is on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm spending next to no money. And um, this is a good way to uh, practice the stockpiling. So what you do is you just, um, you just eat the food in your house, and so you get used to doing that three days a week, and then you can do it, you can do it a whole week eventually. So I want to cut back to basics and just buy basic food. I want to be very conservative. That way, if, if the cost of the food goes up, then I've already cut back to basics. And I'm cutting my spending on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because those are the days you're likely to do away with a considerable amount of money. I'm eating my stockpile down and I'm only stockpiling food that I eat. I'm preparing for um, price inc increases now on food, gas, and utilities. If we knew there was a food shortage coming, what would we do? Well, we would cut back to basic food, try to cut spending on the weekends, eat food in the stockpile, and prepare for food in increases. Okay. Save as much money as possible. Okay, one channel I can really, really recommend is Jan from New York City Saves Money. And she has a lot of easy uh, money-saving tactics. And uh, Jan from New York City Saves Money. And it's, it's nothing radical. It's just saving a little money um, at a time. And then I would try to earn as much money as possible, and I would try to get little side jobs. I would do anything I can. Go to the swap meet, anything. Store as much food as possible. I think one good strategy is big cans, big, huge cans. And I don't know what I did with my big, huge cans. Um, store as much food as possible. Another good channel, TJ Prepper. She, she's not a hardcore prepper, but she is one who knows why you want to be prepared. And the other thing is don't overdo it on the holidays. Don't spend a lot of money. What, what we really need to do is prepare for this cold weather. Buy necessary items only. Okay, so for Christmas, think about cash. Generators, heaters, gifts cards, gas cards, warm coats, sleeping bags, electric blankets, and also maybe um, buy a few gifts at the thrift store. I bought this this handmade plant plant thing. It's three foot and it's super cute. And then I bought these decorations at a thrift store, so you could you know give some nice nice um, gifts, secondhand gifts. You could bake gifts or you can make gifts, like homemade gifts, uh, like homemade blankets or uh, afghans. Or if you have gifts that you got, you could recycle them. Okay, and then, okay, so now one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to get sick and so if you make your own food, you know it's fresh, and you know your hands are the only ones that have touched it. So, okay, what I did. Okay, so I'm liking this bowl thing. For one thing, it's giving you a good idea of about how much food you really need to eat. So this is some, um, this is one can of yams that I bought for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So, you know, you're in your stockpile, you go, oh, I, 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 I have one can of, of yams. Well, that's about enough for one person. 
So, okay, so what I want to do is mash my yams a little bit. And I want to put some sour cream on my yams. So I bought this at 99 cent only. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, you know, sour cream. So, I think I'll put a little margarine. I, I located really good margarine at the Himalayan shop. You know, uh, just uh, uh, mentioned about my tongue, you know, if you, if you cut yourself shaving, you know, it seems like it'll never quit um, bleeding, but if, you know, men, they put a little piece of toilet paper. I'm hoping the same thing happens on my tongue. I hope I'm not swallowing a lot of blood. <laughs> it's the tiniest little cut. I had a little blood blister there. I probably burned in my mouth or something. I don't know. It's so gross. That's life for you, you know? Remember our discussion about anything can happen. That's why even though I'm being cheap, I still want to enjoy life. So I have some sour cream. Sour cream is really good on sweet potatoes too. And this um, artificial sour cream uh, lasts for a long time. And then uh, I want to put some chives and I keep them dry. You guys, this show is raw and uncut. <laughs> this is some canned peas and, and you know, you want enough food that you're not going to be getting hungry anytime soon. You know, this is going to last me with no eating out until tomorrow. Okay, so now let's get my chicken out. Ooh, yummy. This is some barbecued chicken I made. Yummy, yummy. The trick to uh, chicken is don't be in a hurry. Ooh, yummy. My chicken looks good. So by preparing your um, meals in these bowls, this is a huge amount of food, more than enough to last me until tomorrow. And then I have some iced tea here. Okay, I dusted the chicken with flour. You know, I just put it in a baggie and dusted it with flour. And then I melt and I seasoned it with seasoned salt and pepper. And then I, I melted some margarine in a pan and I put it in the, the oven at 350. And, and I baked it turning halfway. And then right before it was done, I added um, some um, barbecue sauce on top. Okay, I posted a good video on you guys for you guys to see on my Twitter, it was Yan Asa, Y A N A S A A, and then another word, A M A Ranch. Global herd reduction beef prices will climb in 2020, and I agree totally. We, I mean, it would be a naive to think that that beef prices weren't going up when 20% uh, of the beef drowned. And then the, the hay or the feed went up and so the, the cattle went to, um, to market 20% um, below the normal weight. And then, you know, China is, you know, short on pork. Okay, and then I posted another video, words about these last days, Mrs. Cindy MP, MRS Cindy MP, all lowercase, uh, words about the last days. And what she's saying, expect food shortages. Now, I went to Costco, 
and uh, I got and so I got the the yogurt, the big one, um, for one thirty. I had to eat it down because it was melting in the car. One thirty-five, and I find them to be very cost effective. And so I bought two so that I didn't have to keep running over there. Okay, so now this is is bowl number six, and I can't smile too much because you know I have tongue issues. <laughs> okay, you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.